Hey, welcome back. So today I have a quick but important update on the Evolve 3 Maestro laptop that I've made a few videos about already. For only $60, I think it's a great deal, and it's especially useful as a Raspberry Pi replacement for many different applications, especially considering how expensive Raspberry Pis are these days. But one of the drawbacks in running Linux on it is depending on which version of the laptop you got, some of the drivers need to be manually installed, including the Wi-Fi drivers. I showed how to install the Wi-Fi drivers in a previous video, but this method wasn't persistent and required the user to manually rebuild them after every kernel update, which can become somewhat annoying. Well, I have good news if you're looking for a more permanent solution. I recently found out there's a new Ubuntu repository that contains the Wi-Fi drivers, and you won't need to rebuild them after every kernel update. This driver package will take care of it automatically. So now let's get straight into how to switch over to the new drivers. If you followed my Linux Mint installation guide and still have the old drivers installed, then we'll need to uninstall those first before installing the new one. Also, you'll need to connect the laptop to the internet using a USB to Ethernet adapter. So first go to the old drivers folder and open a terminal there. Now type sudo modprobe-rv8723du and then after that type sudo make uninstall. By the way, all these commands will be in the description so you can easily copy and paste them. Now we're ready to install the new driver. First enter this command so we can add the repository that contains the driver. You'll notice a message saying that secure boot needs to be disabled if using a UEFI BIOS. So if you happen to have it enabled, you'll need to go into the BIOS and disable it. To do this, restart the laptop and hit the delete key on the main screen to get into the BIOS. Then go over to the security tab and scroll down to secure boot. Make sure this entry is disabled. Now go to save and exit and save the changes. Once you're back in the operating system, we can finish installing the drivers. Next, enter these commands. sudo apt update, and then sudo apt install rtl8723du-dkms. It might take a while to finish, but once it does, you should restart the laptop again, and once you're back in, your Wi-Fi should be ready to go. And like I said, these drivers are persistent, and you won't need to rebuild them after every kernel update. So anyway, this was just a short one, but it should be very useful for those of you who are running this laptop with Linux. If you just recently bought it or you're thinking about getting it, then be sure to check out my playlist on it where I go over the pros and cons of this $60 laptop, and also cover the different revisions and their differences. If you have any questions, then feel free to drop a comment. Also, if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to like it and also subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.